Hey everyone, it's Michelle and today's video is going to be a February favorites video. I know that I'm fairly late to this. People have been already posting their February favorites. Some about a week late, a little over a week late, but that's okay. We're going to get it rolling out there and um, I don't have too, too many favorites this month. So hopefully this will be a quick video. Just going to show you what I've been loving this month. So. Let's get started. Start off talking about the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Uh, and this is the waterproof one. I'm gonna be completely honest, a lot of people really, really like this product to like take off their entire face and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good, blah, blah. I got the waterproof one because I wanted to be able to take off heavier makeup. It's not amazing for taking off like waterproof makeup and um, mascara and liner specifically, but what I really like it for is taking off a lipstick maybe if I want to like retouch it and it's looking a little bit like mm, and I just want to take it off and then go in with another one works really well for that it's really gentle on the lips and I like it as like my lazy day kind of cleanser but on a day where um, I don't want to go in and like completely wash my face let's say I have like really little makeup on like maybe some tinted moisturizer and just a little bit of mascara and stuff like that I'll go ahead and put this on a cotton pad and just kind of gently wipe it off and it does a good job. Um, but I wouldn't say it's amazing for someone that wears a lot of makeup or a lot of waterproof makeup. Nah. But for an everyday gentle cleanser, I would highly recommend it. So I've been loving it for that specifically. The next item that I have been loving this month is super cheap and super amazing. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Contour, contouring palette, contour. It's basically these two shades. It's like a um, banana shade and then your contouring shade. It's really more of a bronzer because it's really warm. I've been loving both of these shades. Initially, I had gotten it just for the bronzer side because I liked um, kind of the way that it looked here. I'll swatch it for you. I only got it for this one for the bronzer side because I liked how like warm and nice it was and I wanted a good matte bronzer. Um, but then I ended up really liking that banana shade as well, and I've been using it to set my under eyes. Um, again, I wouldn't use the warmer shade as a contour, I would use it more as a bronzer. It's a nice kind of like matte everyday bronzer for someone with like a medium to maybe tan skin type, or skin tone I should say. And then the banana shade is a given, it's like a brightening powder. They're super soft, super blendable. And for the price, I mean, I think this was like $4 and it is huge. You get so much product. Wet n Wild is just awesome and fantastic and I can't talk about them enough. My next product is also Wet n Wild. So this is the Wet n Wild Felt Eyeliner Pro Line um, Liner in Black. It's basically, okay, this is the only thing that I don't like about this product for whatever reason. The bottom part of the actual liner always comes off versus the cap. So I always have to like do this and then take off the top and then put it back in this little casing. But whatever, it doesn't stop me from loving the actual product. That's just a weird thing. I don't know if it's happened to you guys, if you guys own this. Typically just a felt tip kind of liner. I like that it's really small and compact. It's good for traveling and it is your basic black felt tip liner. It does the job. This is, I think, $3. Um, when, for example, the one from like Kevin D or Stila or some of these other brands are like 20 something dollars so if you're looking for an affordable option that's going to give you um basically kind of the same result and if maybe you're just starting off and you want to get into like maybe learning how to do a wing or whatever it is this is a good product to start off with the next product i want to share is from nyx this is the um, eyebrow marker in medium and i don't use this for my eyebrows through like a stage last year where i would draw freckles constantly all over my face uh, and then I kind of stopped because that's more of like a summer thing but now that we're getting back into like the hotter weather and summer and all that stuff I've been doing it again and I love this product to do it it's really really light like it has like a light application as you can see well it looks really dark there but if I were to just go over once on my skin tone it just kind of leaves like a tint so it really looks like it's underneath the skin how a natural freckle would look so it makes it really really easy and I just kind of dot it all over and then I go in with my foundation brush and just kind of dust over that to make it a little bit softer and diffuse that and it looks really natural it looks like freckles and it just gives you like that nice summery kind of skin my next favorite is from Mac and this is a old favorite 
reborn again into my makeup routine. I've had this for a while and it's like for whatever reason I started hating it and now I've been loving it again. I think I just learned how to apply it better and my skin is a little bit better so I'm able to use it. Um, and it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. I used to really, really love this concealer when I was into wearing really matte makeup. And then as I started getting into more of like dewy looks and looking a little bit more softer, a little bit more natural, I started to hate it because it sets down. I've been taking care of my skin a lot better. I've been moisturizing and I think I just know how to like apply makeup better now and kind of how to like blend things and make it look a certain way. So I've actually been loving this. You use so little, it has full coverage, which I need because my under eyes are horrendous and it's just great like it's just a very good full coverage concealer like if that's what you're looking for it's awesome the only thing I really don't like is the packaging but I think everyone kind of feels the same way because it gets really dirty and horrible and the pump it's very hard to control the amount of product that is coming out but other than that if you're looking for a good full coverage concealer Mac Pro Longwear I think this is discontinued so this is the Sephora Blush Cream in Golden Spice. And it is this beautiful, beautiful pinky, um, it's like a dusty pinky, almost like a purpley tone also, but it has a gold reflect in it and it's a cream blush, which I've been loving cream products lately. They just look soft and beautiful, really, really good for my skin. I think this is discontinued. It was like in the little sales racks, you know how like Sephora has that little like um, end cap with like $3, $5, $7. It was in there and I think it was $5 or $7 or something and I think they discontinued it. this. So I'm so sorry, but I just love the color and I love the texture. If you're looking for something similar, um, the color is somewhat similar to um, Benefit's Rockator. It's got that like bronzy, pinky, kind of mauve thing going on. Um, but again, this is a powder, this is a cream. It would only be the difference between the two. I've just been wearing this one like crazy because it's a cream. I'm sorry, I just had to mention it. I know, I know. But you can probably find something similar to this. Next product is a gift or like a perk that I got from Sephora for my birthday last year. Having it be February last month with Valentine's Day and stuff, I started introducing red lips a little bit more into my makeup routine and uh, this is for me such a beautiful red lip this is the NARS velvet matte I think they're called velvet matte lip pencil in Corella such a beautiful classic kind of red and the pencil makes it really really easy to draw into your lips honestly on a night out where you're wearing red lip red lips can be so high maintenance and so annoying and this one's long lasting very easy to reapply just kind of like in the center of your lips where normally things kind of separate and come off. It's a good matte red lip. I would recommend it. This makeup product is something that I'd been wanting for a little while and actually my boyfriend got it for me for Valentine's Day so thank you, you're the best. And this is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Color which is what I'm wearing right now in Lumiere 2. This is ColourPop's collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it is such a beautiful color. Last month I mentioned uh, Stila's Bocce liquid lipstick. I would say this is like the pinkier, plummier, definitely a deeper version of that. Um, Bocce's a little bit lighter. This is my little bit more of like that dramatic version of that if I wanted that. Just love it so much. And the last item that's in my favorites is actually not a makeup item. It's food, but it's so good. Actually, I have two more. The other one I just don't have to physically show, so I'm just gonna like insert a picture like that. But um, the first item, or the first food I should say, is these Lara bars. Are freaking awesome. I had a coworker of mine recommend it to me. They're like super, super good for you, and you can basically read the ingredients right off of the packaging without being like, what is that? Like everything's very understandable. I, if I'm not mistaken, all of their bars are made with dates. That's what makes them sweet. And then they add in extra things to just give it a certain flavor. So for example, this is the chocolate chip cookie dough. So they add in like chocolate morsels and chips and stuff in there. But the main sweetness and the main flavor is the dates, which are super good for you. And they just taste sugary and amazing. And yeah, it's kind of a good little thing if you have like a sweet tooth, but you don't want to like 
go crazy like eating an ice cream or something like that so I've been loving those and I love that one the chocolate chip cookie and I really like the the apple cinnamon one as well so delicious so good and the last food item that I want to mention but I don't physically have it here to show you is uh, the cookie butter from Trader Joe's my god, I ate so much of that this month. I mean, I ate the entire jar basically by myself and I ate it with anything. I would top it on ice cream, I would put it on apples, I would put it on like rice, like puff cakes, just spoonfuls by itself. It's so good, not as healthy as the Lara bars, but I mean, I would do the apples a lot, so like that's not so bad. Like, it's like basically like peanut butter and apples. Um, and I'm gonna start a picture right here of what it looks like. So good, it's basically like graham crackers, like ground up with like cinnamon, stuff like that, whatever. And it's just like a creamy graham cracker, delicious spread. And it's so good. Like if you have a Trader Joe's in your area, you go get it. It's so delicious. And they also have a cookie butter ice cream. All right, guys, so that's basically it for my favorites. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. It helps me help you see when I upload things and stuff like that. Let me know what your favorites are down below in the comments. Let me know if you've been loving any of my favorites this month. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.